Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Live Mondo, and this is my revised Hunter run. So it's, it is a, it's a little bit more efficient than the run I put up earlier in the week. Uh, the one I put up earlier was a guide for people who didn't really didn't really know how to beat the Nightfall solo. It was just a relaxed, easy way to beat the Nightfall. This is more aggressive. So this is for people that want to farm for the Exotic Spiral. This is for people that just want to get through it quickly. Teams can use this. It's it's a great strategy. I want to give a shout out to Shablo for coming up with bits of this strategy that I'd never seen before. So well done, Shablo. Keep up the good work, mate. Uh, so we're gonna go Arc Strider right up until just after we 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 finish the tank section. As soon as we get past the dogs at the tax tank section, we're gonna change to Golden Gun with Celestial Nighthawk. The weapons I'm using are Better Devils. Uh, Solar Mananan, yes I'm on PlayStation so I've got a Mananan, I've never had one on Xbox, that's just crazy. Uh, and we're going Warcliff. I will switch on, when we're on the, the elevator I will switch to Curtain Call. I use Curtain Call over Sins of the Past, just been asked this question quite a lot, especially on Reddit. Why use, why do you use Curtain Call not not Sins of the Past? And it's, it's Blast Radius. So, Sins of the Past got a really good blast radius, really big high, it's a really high impact rocket launcher. But with that blast radius, because it covers such a large field, if you're using it for a focused battle, like the boss, A, some of your blast radius won't hit the boss, and the cluster clusters for the whole radius. So a lot of the cluster misses the boss. So that is one, that's the main reason I use Curtain Call, because... I like the focused, focused uh, explosion, and the focused, uh, the focused uh, cluster bomb. Velocity is a good thing as well, but to be fair, unless you're unless you're fighting an ad that keeps running away, and, and you know and is dodging rockets, then you do want something that fires a bit faster. But that is the real reason: is blast radius and cluster radius. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. For everybody that's been supporting the channel, thank you very much. You are the guys that I do this for. Uh, but there will be a, f a lot more videos like this. I've done a revised Titan, which I will put up at the same time. I'm not going to do commentary for the Titan because it's roughly the same strategy as this. Uh, you will see the only difference is I don't change subclass. I will stay a hammer assault for the whole subclass. So, in the first area, we're gonna war cliff just about for the whole the whole strike. So go go for go for the, the fallen first. This is the fallen version of this. So go for the fallen first. It gives the cabal chance to bunch up, meaning your one war cliff is more efficient. If you go for the cabal first, they'll split up and it just takes longer. So I I obviously I've come in here with full war cliff because I went to a public event first and rallied the flag. Nightfall remembers how many, how much ammo you had before you came in. So I've got, I've used two, I've got three Warcliffe left. I'm going to aggressively push the two captains that come out of that door, uh, grenade on them, and try and take out some, some uh, vandals, and then take both of them out with one Warcliffe. My next protocol, because to, to get the ship to come in, I kind of think you have to take out all the orange bars. You can leave one captain, that's the captain that comes out of the ship, but you have to take the rest. So the kind of the way this works is if you take out the orange bars that are here, if you take out the orange bars that are on, on the field of play when you get here, that will open the door at the bottom and bring the, the rest of the fallen out, which you're going to aggressively push again. So there we go. One Warcliffe should should do the trick. Most of the time it will do the trick. Now we're going to go down. As you can see, the the prompt has come up in the le top left hand of the screen telling you that the door is open, that the rest of the Fallen are coming. Uh, there's two captains that come out. One is a major, one is just a, a shielded red bar. And one, again, one Warcliffe does it. So before you push, before you do anything, make sure you take the snipers out because there's nothing worse than thinking that you're all good, you're on a crack in time. And then you get double sniped, which is turns, you know, it turns a, a good run into an into no run. So here we go. I thought I did work cliff. I don't. So now we just go and pick up this. I've got a couple of work cliff. 
uh, you kind of you kind of do. I, I kind of like to have three plus going going up to this point because most of the time, once you've slammed and you go up and you've got to kill that ultra cabal to oh, to progress to the next stage. Sometimes it takes two board clip to take them out. Most of the time, it'll take two board clip, as you'll see in this run. Uh, I'm on a really good time. Uh, I've got a grenade, which I, I, I was using the grenade further, but in, in other ones. But I've decided to keep it for this. There we go, and another one. Uh, oh, my primary isn't reloaded. I'll just punch him. There we go. So I've got I've got a heap of war cliff. We're all good. Now we're just going to push to the next section. Because this is the fallen version of this, you've got to activate the right hand plate, then the left hand plate in the tank room. If you're good enough and efficient enough, you can drop, you can get off your spiral, and you can get back on it after activating the first plate and just drive over the second plate. So the plan here is we're going to activate those plates, jump across onto the, the platform that is level with where the tank will come down. Don't bother about the first tank, we're just going after the second one. Use your strategy for this. But what we're going to do is we're going to go arc stride. We're going to put two board cliffs into the tank and then we're going to arc stride the tank. Make sure you focus on the legs. That's where you'll do the most damage on the tank. Make sure you're focusing on the legs. And then because the arc strider lasts forever, you'll be able to take out all the ads on the plate as well. So, I'm on a really good run in this. Unfortunately, I know it's going to be affected because the boss didn't work the way I anticipated, which created problems. This run would have been about a 13, 13 and a half minute run, I think. It was super, super efficient. It was really fast with a lot of parts of it. It just, the boss just misbehaved. I reckon if I'd done it again, I would probably get the boss because I, I have managed to get the boss to go exactly where I wanted them the first time. So oh, there we go. Another now we're going to jump. We're going to use this this strut in the middle to jump on, and we're over. War cliff, dodge, reload, war cliff. So. Now, like I say, I I I I've just come back onto PlayStation, so my PlayStation account hasn't been played for weeks, months maybe. Uh, so the problem I had here was I didn't have a master worked hunter. So I probably took a lot more damage at that part because I didn't have a uh, I didn't have a master worked hunter, which gives you f full master work gives you 15% extra damage uh, resistance. So there we go. If war cliff them, if you war cliff them close to the door, the heavy kind of stays around the top. If you let them come out, it can fly everywhere, which is annoying. So now I'm going to change the golden gun, Celestial Nighthawk. That's the, the strategy for the boss, is Celestial. So when we get into the next room, I'm going to make it across to the second platform. I'm going to completely ignore the first platform, and I'm going to take the adds out on the first platform from the second. That will then spawn the Centurions, which I can take out with Warcliffe. Now to get them to spawn, all you have to take out are the two Cabal, the two normal Cabal, and the three the, the turrets you have to be mindful that the fallen that are attacking the cabal on that platform they can take the turrets out as well so make sure you take the cabal out first and then you you can see as you're as you're you know ads you can see what turrets are still up so you can know what you're doing so i, I get up here and then i turn and focus on the two cabal first as you can see uh, and this, full credit has to go to Shablo. I've never seen this being done like this before. Maybe it has, but I haven't seen it being done. Uh, really good strategy. Uh, so as you can see, you take out the turret, and now they appear, and I can war, war cliff, reload war cliff. That now has speeded this section up m m by by a, by a mountain. When I done it on my hunter the first time. Uh, I kill everything in this room because, as I say, it was a guide on how to beat the Nightfall safely. Uh, now that I've done that, I, I can push because I only need to keep two war cliff. So I can push these 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 fallen, which I took out practically, you know, with one war cliff. It wouldn't let me activate the plate, so I've got to always come down here first. Maybe some people don't have to, but it's always that way for me. 
come back up, activate the plate. Another mistake I made is where I where I chose to attack the cabal from. It accidentally slipped down there, uh, which meant my warcliff didn't take them all out. But it's it's all good. There was only one left up. Take him out. Now I can get up and change the curtain cut. Now we're on the boss phase. So, boss strategy is we're going to get. He's got three bars of health. You need to get his last, his first bar of health down to half before you can attack him. So you're going to get his health bar down to half, and then you're going to manipulate him to a certain area which will allow you to fire rockets and your golden gun safely and efficiently. I've left this strategy in. Normally this is the type of thing when it happens in videos I would redo the whole rip the whole video. But I decided because I had struggled to get him to go to where I needed him. I didn't want people watching the video and saying oh yeah how could he do it? I, I can't get that. I, I left it in so people can go oh yeah that guy had trouble doing it as well. He, 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 it never will happen first time. You'll see now how long it's going to take. So I've got to that part 8 minutes 20. Right? So from 8 minutes 20 I'm trying to get him to go where I need him to go. Whilst doing damage. Just trying to be efficient because normally you can go over the other side of the platform. He will stay where you are now just about and you can just shoot him to your heart's content he cannot shoot you back and you get him down to half then you try and then you get him to go where you want him to go which is where he is now you want him to back all the way back basically onto the platform you came up on you want and he'll get he'll get kind of he should get stuck behind not so much stuck but he'll maneuver himself back so his shoulders kind of hitting off one of the boxes and that kind of keeps him there never happened for me once so, pushed, he's going to come back up, and he's going to come back up because the thing about it is, he will always come after you if he can't see you. You need to be in clear line of sight with him once he's on the ramp going down. So, you know, I'm bringing him over, he can see me now. I've got to let him hit me a couple of times to keep, him, to keep myself in his eye line. Or he'll just keep walking back up. So once he gets to the bottom, you can slowly start pushing. He'll just keep backing away. And just be careful. So now that he's he's actually off the ramp, I can now go here. I'm safe. He can, you know, I can head glitch him. Now as you can see, I could have took a little bit more health off him, but I decided to go. Crit with a golden gun. Now hit him with rockets. Now the problem I had here was I missed I missed too many rockets. I missed two two I missed two rockets on him. This one he just jumps. I missed that. And then this one it's an area effect. I tried to get it to hit the bottom. It, I did get kind of a big dam big bit of damage. No we did get the damage skip and that's what you want. The reason you do that is so that he goes up to the first platform, activates it, jumps back down and jump straight up to the next platform and then shields himself. So all you've got to do now is take out all the adds, get him to come back down and finish him. But because I missed those two rockets, which is, again, I've left this in here so you guys can see, it does go like this sometimes. Because I missed those two rockets, I never got the second part of the damage thing, so he is still unshielded and up on his platform shooting him. So make sure when you get round here, because this is kind of a safe spot, You'll see that the, the dogs will come round. If you back away far enough, they, they will come round and they'll stand in front of you. Uh, so you come round here. Make sure you change back to your back to your war cliff because one of the dogs is is, is, is a, an orange bar, so it will drop a heavy brick, and that gives you the ability to get your five curtain call back, which you need. So missing those two rockets is going to has affected the time it's took me to do this, and it will affect how much health the boss has when he comes back down off that. So normally, a couple of rock gold gun and two rockets would have finished him, but because of how much health he's actually got, it's it never worked. So what I've got to do, I'm kind of I'm I'm in cover, I'm safe. So now we've got to put a bit of damage on him and make him close up his shield. 
which will start the, 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 the next part. You'll fire a flare up in the sky when you've done it. And it's it, it's pretty close to the, the last bar. It's almost taken all, these, all, all that second bar health away. Not quite, but just about. There we go. Now, we're going to get all the ads now. Which is what we want. Now, what, I, what I'd what i like to do here, and it's it, not, not everybody likes to do it, so it's personal preference. Once I've cleared the ads, then you've got to pick up the core and, and, and take it over to slam. Some people like to pick up the core and drop it immediately and just clear the ads and then come back. Uh, I've always been I've always been the type of person that I, I m manage the core, so I'll bring the core with me. I don't it doesn't really affect me too much. Uh, it not it doesn't affect me. It's not to the detriment of my run. It doesn't affect me negatively. I can manage the core and move forward. Not to say that people that don't pick the core can't manage it. Some people just like to, you know, just like to be free of the core, just deal with the ads and then, but I'm, I, I don't mind. So make sure you change back to curtain call. As you can see, I never took the ship out either. You don't really have to if you're in that spot. The, the ship can get a little bit more aggressive with you. Uh, but as long as you're moving or in cover, you're fine. So as you can see, the ship is getting more aggressive, so I've went into cover so I can attack the first three at first three of the ads that come that come at you. And the first three ads is there's a, a, a shielded centurion, an orange bar, which will drop a heavy brick, and just a normal bar. Once you take those out, you'll have three ads on the plate which you have to take. And then you're in the very final part of the boss battle. The final part of the boss battle. Uh, once you've took these out, once you slam, the very final part of the boss battle is he will jump down. Now, he never jumped ever for me. He never jumped straight to the middle. I did see it. That's, that other people have managed to get that to happen. It seemed like my run, especially on the boss, was completely was completely different apart from where the ads come from the way that the, the the strategy worked was different to to the way that i'd seen it but anybody that watches videos will have had that experience it never goes the way it does for other people it's simply simply it's play style differences skill differences there's a lot of things to take into consideration so i threw my grenade down which because it was a solar grenade it, it pretty much dealt with the, the centurion and, and done damage to the rest. Now what we're going to do is we've got to slam this plate and get back to the centre where we just came from. So slam the plate and get back to the middle of the top platform and be ready to... He will he will jump down. If he doesn't jump right to the centre, he will jump down and then he'll jump to the centre. There we go. Pop Goldie. Make sure you get that tasty crit. Reload. Second rocket. Now, do not as you'll see here, I'm pretty lucky because I get sniped. Do not stand and battle him. Because with his shots and the snipers, if you can, if you don't put him down with the first two rockets, and he's not like, just, you know, got, as you'll see here when I aim at him, if he doesn't have that amount of health left, don't stand and battle him because you won't put him down with, with just one more rocket. And there you go. If you do get into any hassle, any trouble with that run, this run hopefully will show you how to get out of it. I'm I'm glad that I've had a chance to speak to you guys, and I'm glad that you guys keep supporting the channel. Take it easy, guys.